Hey, this is Joe from Personas with a quick automation tip for Studio One. I did this video a while back called Volume Automation 101, dives into how automation works in Studio One, but I might have missed something because here, uh, bass guitarist says, how do you exit automation mode? Mine just keeps re-automating and constant volume because I'm playing it back and it's still in automation mode. I'm going to show you how to do that real quickly. Um, so first off, when you're in Studio One to see your automation lanes, press A on the keyboard and we can quickly see which lanes have any automation on them. You can see I've done a little bit here and there. Let's say we want to automate this yellow vocal track here. Right now I can't see a horizontal line for volume because we're not looking at it yet. I can choose what parameter I want to display by choosing it here. So display volume vox. Now I'm seeing the volume represented by this horizontal line. Now let's put this, let's switch over to the mixer and let's take, this is my vocal channel. Let's put it into, let's say latch mode and let's hit play. And now we're going to automate this vocal. So I'm going to pull this fader down and then up and then go nuts with it. And then I'm going to let go at a lot lower volume, okay? All right, now, if we switch back over and take a look, look, look at our beautiful automation run that we just did. And we might be tempted to say, cool, I'm gonna move on and work on something else. So we hit play and now we're off working on our bass track or our guitar track. Um, and everything's fine, but then let's say, at the beginning of this phrase we said, Oh, that's not quite right. Let me just let me adjust that volume just a little bit. Okay, cool. And we don't think about it and we move on, but check out what's happening. We just overwrote all the automation that was there. Because we were in this specifically is in latch or write modes. When you in latch mode, when you touch the fader, it's gonna stay and continue to write automation even when you let go. Touch mode, it stops when you let go, which is a handy mode to use. Um, but if you're in latch mode, it starts writing automation when you touch the fader, and it stops only when you stop playback. And then in write mode, it's just writing all the time. It's, it's, if the playhead is moving, it's writing automation. Those can be handy in different circumstances, but if you have it in that mode and you forget to turn it off, you get something like this. So how do we do this? We want Studio One to read this automation and to play it back every time, but we don't want to keep... Next time we go move the fader, we don't want to keep writing new automation or write over what we did. The answer is really simple, but maybe not super intuitive if you've never done it before. Down here where we see our automation mode, it is latch mode. We just want to change this to read mode. Okay, Default mode for all channels in Studio One is off. That means it's not reading any automation. And as soon as you add any sort of automation, um, you should see all the channels here that have this green read button are ones that I've put automation on. And then if it's in touch mode, it's yellow. If it's in latch mode, it's red. Write mode is darker red. Uh, and read mode is green. So when you're done and you want it to just read the automation, meaning literally just play it back over and over, this is how you do it. So now if I accidentally move the volume of the vocal while this automation is happening, I can't even catch the fader. It'll move and it'll stay there, but I'm not actually writing that automation. As soon as I stopped playback, you see it jumped back to where it was told to be, and it's always going to play this back. That's kind of the way automation goes. Once we have any automation on a track, the entire volume of the entire track is now kind of locked at one position, and it will play exactly what's there. Um, so if you ever want to change volumes of different sections, like this section needs to come down, this section needs to come up, we can do that with automation, but we've kind of forfeited the right to just move a fader because we now have specific automation things that we want to have the system read every time it goes through that section. So now this section will have that precise, beautiful automation every time we play through this part. Okay. All right. Wanted to clear that up. Thanks for watching. If you're still confused as to how automation works and you haven't seen the other video, um, do a quick search on our channel for Automation 101. That'll take you to it. And happy watching. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.